Hello and welcome to another All Over Place. We're still taking a little look here at Hearthstone. We're doing a, another arena run. So just like last time, first we will have a draft video, which is the video you're looking at now, and then we will have an actual gameplay video further along there. Now it gave us a pick of a warrior, a shaman, and a warlock. In the uh, before future videos, if there's a specific hero you want me to play in Arena, then uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to pick that one if it comes up. Of course, it is random, so no guarantees. Now, the Warlock uh, has some interesting mechanics. I um, haven't really played one, but I don't really think it's that awesome in Arena, so I'm not sure about that one. I like the Warrior. Warrior is one of the two decks I've been playing around with. I've been trying to build some sort of protection warrior, just not because it's good, because so far it, it's not, uh, but because I find the concept of building up armor such interesting. And then we have Thrall with a Shaman there. I think we're gonna go with a Warrior. Even though it is Garrosh, and I really don't like Garrosh. <laughs> so, some interesting cards here to begin with. Armorsmith is actually one of those cards that I'm looking for for my Protection Warrior deck. Um, so, um, I'm gonna pick it just so that I can play around with it. Um, I did get a uh, pick of a Murloc there previously. Murlocs are mostly good with other Murlocs, and we're getting a second Murloc here, so maybe we should have built a Arena Murloc deck. Of course, the picks are random, so there's no guarantee you'll manage to do that, even if you start off with a Murloc. Cruel Taskmaster is really good in combination with Rage Creatures, uh, because you can enrage them with the Battle Cry of Air, give them extra damage, and it's just quite awesome. Also works well with the armor smith, I'm guessing. So we're gonna go with the crew taskmaster. You can also pick off enemy minions with that, so it's good. Priestess of Elun. Uh, I will be building armor. I don't really need healing, hopefully. Fan Creeper, Solid Taunt, Archmage. There are warrior spells, so to speak. Warrior cards that do benefit from spell damage, but we're gonna go with a solid taunt there. Now, Bell Rage. Draw a card for each damage friendly character. Works nice with, say, a Armor Smith and a Whirlwind, and maybe even uh, a Commanding Shout so that your minions don't die. It's a little bit the theory I've been having behind my Warrior deck. Red Corsair is just a awesome taunt if you have weapons. Don't know if I will be having any weapons. I mean, there are some common weapons, so I should have some weapon, but you can never guarantee it. Direwolf Alpha, it's good for buffing creatures and such, but we're gonna go with that Bell Rage. Try to build some combos. Flesh Eating Ghoul is a really good card if you have some. A lot of small minions dying. Uh, we don't have a lot of card draw, and we can actually trigger that card draw with our cruel taskmaster and making this a 3 2. So that does sound interesting. Stormpike Commando yeah, is decent, but we're gonna go with the Acolyte there. From our Farseer, one of the few Windfair creatures outside of the Shaman deck cards. For Rifleman, uh, not that great. I would rather actually take a Elven Archer or the one that does Tomb damage. This is basically a slightly tougher Elver, Elven Archer for two more mana, so... If this was a two drop, sure. Three drop, no. Razorfin Hunter. Good to get some small creatures out. So a good drop with the coin, I think, on turn two. We're gonna go with that one. Silence, enrage, rampage. Oh, 
this is not a choice I would have wanted to go into. Personally, I find that I want to have one silence per deck, at least. Because it's just really useful to ne negate some massive combos. Um, Rampage, with all this damage being taken on our own friendly miniatures, it can be really good. And the Tower Warrior, it's not the best enraged creature, but it is an enraged creature. And we don't have any enraged creatures yet, and we'll work quite well with it. Cruel Taskmaster, and the Battle Rage, and even the Armorsmith, to some extent. But we're gonna... We're gonna go with that silence, just because we don't know if we're gonna get a second silence. Now, Whirlwind or Tarn Warrior. Core Hound is just too easily killed. It's it's huge, it's expensive, it's a beast, so it can be used in hunter decks, but here I don't think so. Now we were looking for some enraged creatures. But then again, that whirlwind with the battle rage, with the armor smith. I like building some synergy. It's always good. Raging Worgen. We're gonna go with this one. I just wanna go through the other options here with the Reese's of Loom. We've talked about this. Don't really like it that much. Ogre Mage, again, we don't need spell damage that much. Of course, it does work with the Whirlwind, but that will kill pretty much all of my minions, probably, so we're not looking for that combo at the moment. Raging Worgen, though, it gets Wind Fury when it's enraged, so a Raging Worgen plus a Cruel Taskmaster, and you can work out yourself how that's gonna work out. Rare. There we have that commanding shout that I'm trying to build around in my my constructed deck, so... Uh, epic that. Uh, getting a message here from one of my friends who's uh, playing StarCraft 2 at the moment. Not gonna reply to him just yet. Can talk when I'm not recording. Now, second Acolyte of Pain or a Cult Master. Hmm. I like the Acolyte Pain better when it comes to card draw. Cult Master is just too easily killed. And also the Acolyte of Pain works with the Whirlwind, the Brutast Master and all of that. Working Infiltrator. Great one drop, because it has stealth. It can't just be picked off. Voodoo Doctor, not so great one drop, because it's a 2-1 on your first turn where you can't heal anything. You can of course play it later, but then it's just a 2 heal, so... And there we have a weapon. And this is a minion and a weapon for 4, so... It's pretty good. But we don't really have any 1-drops. Oh, we're gonna go with the around the weapons, right? we, we need some weapon. Ravenholt Assassin can deliver some nice killing blows in the end game. Crazed Alchemist, you know, you can have a lot of crazy fun with it, but... I don't see any combos with the stuff that we're building right now. The upgrade can actually be used with the Yerafi Weapons move, so we're gonna go with that synergy again. Second Whirlwind, yeah, why not? Not the best charge, so we're not gonna go with that one. Suffering as a UFO Brewmaster or a Worgen Infantry. I think the UFO Brewmaster, because then we can take our Cool Taskmaster back in our hand and play it out again, or we can pick up things like the Acolyte of Pain and toss them out again and inflict some more pain on them. We're just nice people like that. Execute. It's great for removing huge, beefy creatures that are really scary, which is something we had a issue with, I would say, in our Paladin video. So we're taking that. Slam can be used to trigger enraged creatures and gives you a card. It's not my preferred way of using it. I would rather try to kill something with it or slam something execute or slam trade. Yeah, you, you get the picture. It is a removal spell though, something we're lacking. Dark Iron Dwarf synergizes really well with the Raging Worgen though. And 
we have a shield bearer. We are lacking top, but I don't want to take a shield bearer because I don't really find them that useful. They are often next to useless. And we do have that one fang creeper. Um, so we're gonna go with the dark iron dwarf. Now recruit taskmaster. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go with that. We, we love the cruel taskmaster. Wind Fury Harpy, it's good. It also dies. And it's not a cruel taskmaster. Nightblade, um, I, I mean, I, I don't like much creatures that ping other creatures, and I really don't like the ones that ping enemy heroes. I mean, if, if he's sitting behind a huge wall of taunts and he only has three health left, then of course this could win a game, but much rather have another cool taskmaster. I don't want to take this taunt because it's it's a 5-4. It's not great. I mean, we can get a Fang Creeper a 3-6 for the same. We are lacking taunt. Raid Leader gives everything plus one, so it's like a tiny storm of night, and it's really good. Of course it does get killed quite easily, but you can you can play it out in conjunction with some charred creatures because it's a low cost relatively in the end game. Or you can play out a bunch of small creatures and play it on your next turn and attack with them. Margin Squire, I mean it does have divine shields, it's it's a pretty decent one drop I would say, but we're gonna go with that Ray Leader. Yes, Frothing Berserker. This is a great card. This works so well with things like the Whirlwind. Notice as whenever a minion, so enemy and friendly minions. So that can become hugely dangerous. So we're yeah, we're gonna go with Frothing Berserker. Um just wanna mention that Twilight Rake can be good. Especially against things like priests because of the four attack, but it's it's a little bit dependent on you having a big card, uh, well hand. And then the Python Summoner, it's it's decent to get some bigger creatures out, but you just get killed off. Another Pandaren. I'm thinking, I'm thinking pandas. I mean a charge. That's nice. There's a warrior card that gives everyone charge, which would be great, but we can't know if we're gonna get it in the last time cards we're drawing here. And there's a young dragon hawk. Which isn't very good. Well, it's actually great in a hunter deck, especially one built on pump ups, but more pandas. Storming Champion, we're completely lacking in the end game creatures. So that might be a good idea. The loot Hoarder, I don't really find it that good. It, it does give you a card after someone pings it off, but that's usually what they do. Shield Bearer, again, I don't really like it. I mean, it can be good sometimes, but no. Go with that Stormwind Champion. Another bell rage. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the cleave. I've tried this out and constructed. It hasn't really worked in my favor uh, that much. Not that this isn't that it's too random, really. Uh, but usually, it doesn't kill the creatures because it's only two damage, or they don't play two creatures. I only have one big beefy creature. And this card is completely useless. It, it requires at least two creatures to be played. You can't just play it and do two damage to one creature. So we're gonna go with uh, second battle rage there. It's in just as well with our other stuff. And Frost Elemental well, can be pretty good, I think. I have this used against me pretty effectively. I never actually played one by myself. Murloc Raider, pretty useless. It's good in the Murloc deck, it's not really good here. Shield Block. I know a lot of people don't really like this, but, you know, I'm trying to build a deck around a lot of the cards that we're using here, and Shield Block is one of the cards that I'm trying to build a deck around myself, so we're gonna, we're gonna toss it in there, just to see how that works out. 
we're lacking in taunts. But we're gonna go with another panda. Uh, yet another bell rage. Well, you know, two bell rages might just be enough. I'm uh, not entirely sure we need more bell rages. So we're just gonna go with a Chido Bunyeri, because it's a pretty solid stomping creature, and well, the River Croclisk is okay, but it's just not as good. Abusive Sergeant can be really useful, especially if we manage to trigger that Raging Worgen. I would have wanted more Raging Worgens in this deck. We're gonna go with that Tarn Warrior. It's like the third time it's been offered to us. Really want to take the Arcanet Reaper because it's a massive 5 damage, really good for removal, and you can use it to assassinate your enemy in the end game. Uh, it's basically a 5 charge. But we don't really have any charge, and that Warzone Commander can really be a lifesaver. Uh, this is not great, but if you have if you have a weapon, it can be useful. I mean, I can see someone coining into, say, a fiery war axe, and then playing this and something else or two of his. On his next turn. But it's not a great one, Rob. It's a pirate, so if you're building a pirate deck, then that's always on. Direwolf Alpha. Yeah, we, we like that one. It's a decent creature. And we're down to our last card, which is another rare. And we have the Angry Chicken, which is utterly useless, because we don't really have anything to pump it up, we just have things to hurt it. We have the Immortal Strike, which can actually be pretty good. Or the Ravenholt Assassin for some late game damage, which we're also lacking in. Now we're gonna try out that Immortal Strike. Well, there we have a pretty decent warrior deck. I would say it has a few cards like a Frothing Berserker, Acolyte of Pain, Whirlwind. Cards that I would myself use if I constructed this deck. Of course, I haven't been doing that for very long yet, but well, I'm interested to see how this turns out. And if you're interested to see it, then you'll have to tune into the next video, because I'm at the moment I'm separating the draft from the gameplay videos. So if you're not interested in the drafts, you can just skip these and jump directly to the gameplay. And also, if you just want to watch drafts for some reason, then you can do that as well. Just hear me talk about what I think about different cards. Uh, if you liked this video, then please go ahead and like. You can always subscribe if you want to see more Hearthstone content and content from uh, other video games in the future. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Oliver Live. And uh, I will see you in the next video.